So a little preface to the video you guys are about to see here. Uh, we finally got access to an account that has can actually participate in Star Expedition. There's a lot of things we discovered when actually playing the game mode that makes it so much more fun and better than previously. If you already have E5 heroes, the promotions make them V4. If you only have 10 stars, they make them E5 without void imprinting. But like this, this game mode is awesome. The way that you can pick cards for buffing your team. You'll see. You'll see. We're going to have a bunch of videos about this because this is awesome. I actually think this is a really, really good game mode. Something that I enjoy personally. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let's jump right into it. What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. And today we are on another Tap Tap server uh account actually this is one that if you guys remember we used to use this once in a while back in the day uh now there's a different verification to actually get on to the tap tap server so not everybody can because it, there's a whole process uh but it has to do with like the laws and stuff like that that are going around we want to see what we can do with this account in the new game mode now i don't think we have one rogue in there hold on I want to see if we can just make another 10 star real quick. Let's just let's take a peek. We do have a Rogan copy potentially right there. There's nothing else here. I kind of want to make the Rogan up to a 10 star. Just so that we have more stuff for content. <laughs> um, We got you and we got you, which is perfect. We got one copy there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's use this right here. For a Rogan copy. Where's Rogan? Right there. All right. This is an old chest, but hey, it works for what we need it to be. Let's go back to Forest. Let's get two of you copies out of there. And let's upgrade our Rogan. And we don't really care about leveling them up past 10 star, which is a very interesting thing. As long as they're 10 star, they will be used in this new game mode. Now, we can't do the same thing for the Drake because we just don't have Drake copies, it doesn't look like. I don't think we can buy... We buy Drake copies anywhere now? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know you can get one from here, but you gotta like already make an E3, so that 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 kind of counts us out. So let's just grab some stuff. All right, let's jump into it because now we can actually do it now that we have some ten stars and such. So. Let's go to promotion. This is where but previously we couldn't do anything, but now what we can do is we can put all these heroes in here and they're gonna up them all to E5 level 350. You'll notice everybody that's not on this list is their normal level. Even the ones that are only 324, 350, or 334, they all go up to 350. So yeah, you can change the heroes and looks like you're good. Oh, wow. That is really cool. So it, it basically gives them a full class set of gear as well. That is really cool. And in case you don't know what their abilities do at the higher level, which I mean, that doesn't make sense. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. We got hero promotions going here. So we can do up to 12. We can only do five of them. So that's what we got. But now we can actually come in here and do some things. So whether to complete the purification note, number of members who have completed purification three, the number of people who complete the first purification reaches 10 activations. So let's see if we can actually do anything with our squad. We almost have a full team now. Um, I actually don't know the order of these heroes. I want to put them in. Honestly, I guess we could put Rogan up the front. We have some V4 heroes as well. Wait a minute. Do we actually... Are they actually V4? Or does it up it? Oh my goodness. So if they're already E5... Holy cow, that is huge. I didn't realize that. If they're already E5 heroes... They V4 them. That is insanely good. This is awesome. You could just build 10 star food for both Void Arc and now the, uh, what is this called? Star Expedition? Yeah, Star Expedition. Like, that is amazing. All right, let's see what we can do then because we actually have V4 heroes, which is kind of insane. So, uh, Frontline, you and you, we'll put like a Drake, we'll put a Penny, you and you, but we'll actually swap that. We can use any pet we want, so we're going to go with the Lion. Uh, this is actually better than I thought this game mode would be. This is actually really cool that they're V4 heroes. Come on, Penny. Hey, come on, Penny. There we go. We can get some victories. 
Let's see how far we can actually make it here. I imagine our team heals up after every single combat. You can look at damage meters here. Okay, so this is cool. Please, please choose a star seal. Oh my goodness. So you can see what level they are. Two set attributes. According to the number of rounds, different buffs will be obtained, which last until the end of round. Number of rounds is odd. The attack is increased by 50. Holy cow, there's a lot of stuff. So these are like set pieces almost. When you get a two set, you get 25% crit damage. When you get a four set of attributes after casting a normal attack, its total damage increased by 30% for 15 rounds, and its energy is increased by 30. After casting after skills, is is critical strike rate is increased by 30. And critical, oh my god, these are insane. Oh, plus they're just giving flat bonuses, it looks like. Uh, so this one gives crit damage after performing normal attacks and gaining active skills. You gain a shield by 20% of your maximum health. At the same time, increasing critical strike damage. I kind of like this one. To be honest, I kind of like this one. So what happens now? We have that. So we have star seals. So you can sell them. What does equipment do? Oh, do you actually like put... Oh, okay. All right. So you can put a certain number of these that give you buffs in your star print backpack. So if you have two of them or four, oh, okay, all right, this is this is pretty cool. And you can, oh, that's what these rewards are right here. Okay, I'm so happy we have access to this because this explains so much more about this game mode than we previously understood. This seems fun. Like just at first glance, it might be a little time consuming to be honest, but you can also skip fights, which... We might do that. I just want to see how we are doing. Uh, but this is cool. So now we get to pick another one. Um, I think we might go with this one. Just get to two set for more crit damage. But let's read these. Carl of Peace. What are these names? Uh, gives crit, attack, HP. Dealing damage to targets with bleeding effects is increased by 50%. Wow. So if you have a Scarlet Queen Halora, that's really good. After a normal attack or active skill causes a critical strike, add an additional 300% bleeding damage to all enemies for two rounds. Okay, what's this? Uh, Osis or whatever. When a character dies on the field, increase the attack power of all friendly heroes by 10%. Eh, I don't like ones like that. I think we're going to choose that. That way we can put... Oh, wait. Is that a different one? Oh, that was Destiny. Is it, is it the first part that matters or the second part that matters? Equipment, and then you place it. Okay, no, no. So it's the first part. So that's of Destiny. This is of Persuade. So it's the... Not... Nairn? 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 I don't even know what to say. But now we have the two set bonus where we get plus 25% crit damage. So that's pretty cool. Um, So it looks like these might be a little bit more difficult. Uh, we do have 22 fights. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Okay, so I think we can fight everything on here. Let's just try to do a full clear. We're going to skip battles. And just so this video is not like a 20-minute video, let's see what we can do. So we only we don't have Osis and Carl. So we don't really care about either of those. But we can get a two-set bonus. And honestly, the crit is nice. The fact of the matter is that we don't have bleeding effects. So I'm going to pass on that one. So which one do we want here? When a character dies, oh wait, is this spot like where you can place it or something? I don't know. I don't like where the character dies though. Granted, our, you know, we'll, we'll grab it, we'll grab it. Because technically, technically, our Drake dies a lot. Because he's only a nine star. All right, let's try to clear these out. These are a little bit more difficult, but it looks like we will be fine. Here we go. We got another one of these. I want to go for the bonuses. Ooh, what's this one? This one's a new one. We actually have two new ones. So Gris. After casting a normal attack or active skill, the target has a if the target has a stun, petrification, or freezing effect, additional 200% boi poisoning and bleeding will take effect for two rounds. If the target has a bleeding or poisoning effect, then increase your total damage by 15%. Interesting. Oh, I see how this is. So the 
the prefix and the suffix both have bonuses. So Gris has a two and four set bonus, but so does Persuade. Very interesting. I just realized that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> we're gra we're gonna grab this one over here real quick. All right. Um. Uh, nope. That's the wrong button. We want to go to here. Okay. So the. All right. That makes a little bit more sense. So now if we do this. Okay. We can only put it in this spot. Interesting. So does each icon represent a different location here? There's no information here, which is kind of frustrating. Or is it because it's the same exact item? Maybe it's because it's the same exact one. I don't know. We're going to go through all these. We're just going to stumble our way through, try to figure this out. Skip battles. Okay, so now we have a Narn of Foresight. Oh, it doesn't let us go back. So we're just going to do this for science. We're going to grab that one since I think we already have an Osis of Foresight. So if we go to equip it, no, we can actually put it anywhere else we want. Maybe you can't have two of the same exact prefix and suffix, and that is the reason why. That is interesting. So even though, so of the the suffix is the icon, the beginning is just a different buff. That's interesting. So now we have two different buffs giving 25% crit damage because we have Foresight doubled up and Nar Narn doubled up. <laughs> it's so weird, but this is actually really cool. There's some like really good strategy and depth to this. Uh, Narn of Peaceful, let's just grab that one. Let's just see what we can do here. So if we go to equip, it will let us put it somewhere else. So now we have what? One, two, three, four Narn. So that now gives us, after performing normal attacks and gaining active skills, gain a shield equal to 20% of your maximum health and at the same time increase critical strike damage by 100%, increase critical strike rate by 50, increase attack by 15 for two rounds. Wow. That is going to be really good considering we have a penny. So we're just going to keep skipping through. I don't think we're going to have any issues. But now we need to look for something out. We already have a Narn of Foresight. We got two Carls here. <laughs> it's weird how we're going to name them. So can we do anything with that one? So we have the we have both of Persuade. We can put that in there. So now we have two Foresight bonuses, right? We have Foresight, Foresight, Persuade, Destiny, Persuade, Peaceful. So wait, no, we got a four set and two extra two. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is confusing a bit. Let's just grab a bunch of things and then we'll see what we have for total. We'll try to just grab any of the ones that have level three because they I feel like they have the best buffs overall. And I really don't want to take this as a too long video. Tomorrow, though, I might stream this and see what we can get. Um... What was this one? Cause of Foresight. So at the beginning of the round for Cause, remove all control effects of oneself. Each time a control effect is removed, 5% of the one's maximum life will be restored, and one's own attack will be increased by 25%. That's interesting. Ooh, this one's cool. Boolean Bully, Bo of Destiny. So Boolean is according to the number of rounds, different buffs will be obtained, which last until the end of the round. If the number of rounds is odd, the attack is increased by 50. And the sacred damage, I imagine that means holy damage is increased by 50%. If the number of rounds is even, energy is increased by 50. And critical strike, that's kind of cool effect. Let's keep clearing these out here. These are all costing one, I think. So we're just gonna grab anything that has like higher star count right now, just to get some good buffs. Uh, if not, we'll just keep going. Okay, they all still cost one good. That's the one thing I was hoping is like the fights didn't cost more than one. All these are low tier. So essentially when you're fighting the, the, the gray ones and the blue ones, there's a lower chance. But if we do fight like one of these purple ones that are gonna be more difficult, let's watch one of the fights. Ooh, King Barton with those counterattacks, but Penny just shredding them to pieces. So much crit and crit damage. Holy cow, Penny. Oh, Penny could be really good in this game mode. Oh, there's another three star. So we're just going to keep collecting them. We'll just keep skipping, giving us anything that is like high quality. And then we'll figure out what set bonuses we want. I really like set bonuses. There's one thing I really loved back in the day with like World of Warcraft and everything. So this is right up my alley. We're just literally just going to take everything that gives us like a three star. And we're going to figure out what the best combination is for us. So we got one more here. And before we get into the big fights, let's see what we actually have in our bag. So we have 
to persuade let's see let's see so if we do this equipment we can place this one anywhere because we don't have a cause of okay okay what set bonuses do we want i don't think i want the holy damage one honestly this one is kind of cool this one is kind of cool Narn, cause, cause, Narn, Carl, Carl, Osis. What ones do we already have here? Narn. So I think we want to try to get the four piece of Narn, but there's only one slot we can put it, which is fine. Um, did we have any others? So we have what? One, two, three, four. So we have the four pieces technically, and they're all pretty good except for this one, but that's fine. Um, we have another Narn down here that's like two star at all? I don't think so. So we could stick with what we have, or we could try to do a better bonus here. So we're we're getting twenty, we're getting tons of crit damage. This one we're going for holy damage, crit chance. There's so many suffixes and prefixes. This is crazy to keep track of. All right, what do you have? We had. <laughs> this is so confusing. All right, so these ones aren't changing. So we got destiny, persuade peaceful foresight so we don't really have any of them really great let's just remove these two out uh what if we just equip this what if we just go with like the best two that'll give us a bonus too i'll take that i'll take holy damage yeah because this is giving plenty of crit i think this is good because this node here is going to be a hard one to replace we don't have another Narn. Okay, I think that's the setup we're going to go, but we might get even better ones here. Let's watch the first combat, see how strong they are. These are giving flat static buffs to our account too, though, which is kind of cool. So they're starting with shields on this one. Penny just... Wait, was that even Penny? Yeah, that was Penny that did that AoE, right? Drake goes down, which gives... Oh my god. <laughs> Drake and Russell shredding them to pieces. All right, so we got nothing great. So I guess maybe the star is just completely random of the quality that you get. Um, Don't care about any of those. Come on, give you another really good Narn of Persuade or whatever. Um, nah. I don't think we have any upgrades here. None at all. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, let's move on to the boss, man. He still only counts one. Devastator Warlord will become frenzied on round six, and his skills and basic attacks will deal fatal damage. So, this is the same as Void Arc bosses. Fortified by the Void Energy, Devastator Warlord's Carapace greatly reduces the damage from incoming attacks. When attacked, Devastator Warlord launches a counterattack against enemies in a huge area. The attack reduces enemies' attack and may stun them. All right, well, let's see what this looks like. It looked like there were enemies there. So there's four allies plus the boss man that has, like, he's basically a jacked up King Barton. I think we have the damage for this, though, no problem. Okay, so we'll just choose that. New contaminated air has been discovered. Do you want to check it out? Yes, we do. Wait, we want to go back here. What's this? Enemies in this node have been destroyed. Okay, that's. I just want to know what that was right there. So we got more star seals, and you carry these over. So once you beat level one, you can move on to level two. However, uh, new to going to a new region will stop players' current progression. Of yeah, that's fine because we can move on to this one. Okay, so yeah, you can do a new map, more more advancements, but you can only do so much per day. There's only so much you can do. Yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Okay, so. Interesting. When allies defeat a node, that is when you are going to get star blessings leveled up, it looks like. So this one, I believe, yeah, this one was the jade right here. So since four people have defeated it, uh, it's four of ten. You need ten people to unlock the bonuses for each node before you go and fight the final boss, I believe. No, it looks like you can fight him no matter what. So here's the other thing. I want to break this one down in a separate video, the disaster of the abyss. Let's, let's just call it for now. We have the cool system of the star seals and all that. It's pretty solid. We also have quests that we can claim out. Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot about this. Nice. More resources. This is awesome. I love this. And we get a little chest with 3,000 guild coins. I'll take it. I love this game mode. Like, jumping into it was such a better feel than just playing it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about Star Expedition. It looks fun to me. I'll see you guys next time.